right, let's do another example um, using Gaussian addition. Um, here we have a problem where we're asked to sum all of the three-digit numbers that are multiples of seven. Okay, well, let's let's take a look at what those numbers look like. They're going to be three digits, and um, so we need to find the first one. And to do that, I'm not really sure right off the top of my head, but you know, we could start with 70. And if we, um, you know, that's not big enough because we can go, we can go higher. We could go 77. We could go 84. But um, it's, you know, 30 away from 100. So, and we want to be over 100 to get three, three digits. So if I add 35, which is 7 times 5, I get 105. Okay. So that's the first number in our list. So I'm going to just write that down. 105. Okay. And the next multiple of 7 is just going to be, actually, you know what, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a plus in here, just because we want to add up these. So there's nec the next mul multiple of 7 would be 112, and then we would have um, 119, all the way up to something. All right. So what's the um, biggest three-digit multiple of seven? Well, you know, you could take, you could actually do it a couple different ways. You could take 999, or a thousand actually, oops, I didn't do that, um, and divide by seven, and see what you get. And then that's going to give you a, num a, mul a number to multiply by 7 to actually, you know, that's going to get you close. It's going to have a remainder, but then you have to multiply 7 times whatever you get um, to get the last number. Um, one thing I kind of like to do is just add multiples of 7 to an existing multiple of 7, and it's got to be a multiple of 7, right? So, so I could add 700 to this, and I get 805. Alright, that's not big enough. We can add 140 to it. That's 20 times 7. So that gives you 945. We're getting closer. So it looks like we're 55 away from from uh, um, being th from a thousand. So if we want to add something less than 55, so I know um, 49 times 7 is there are 49 is 7 times 7 so we can add that up and we're going to get 994 right so that's our and if we add 7 more to that you can see we go over a thousand so that's our last number in the list so let's write that 994 okay so that's what we've got to add and um you can see that the difference between consecutive numbers here, because they're all multiples of 7, are just plus 7, right? Plus 7, so and so on, because that's how we got this little series. So so it's an arithmetic, it's an, it's an arithmetic series, uh, which is good because <laughs> that makes our life easier for adding things up. All right? Now, another thing we need to know, we have the first number, we have the last number, so the other thing we need to know is how many numbers are in this list. So let me do, out, do that off to the side. I'm going to say 105, 112, 119, all the way up to 994. And we want to translate this into a list of counting numbers so that we could, so that it's easier. So first thing I notice is that the gap between each consecutive number is 7. So we have multiples of 7, and since these are all obviously multiples of 7, because that's, <laughs> that's what we, uh, that's, that's what the problem asked for, um, it turns out this is 15 times 7, so you can actually, you can see this is 10 times 7, this is 5 times 7, so the sum of those has to be 15 times 7, um, and this is 16 times 7, and 17 times 7, and all the way up here, this ends up being 142 times 7. So 
you could actually take 7 divided into that and you'll see that it's 142 okay so now we have a list of numbers that are counting numbers so the, the difference between consecutive numbers is 1 so we did that by dividing by 7 all right now we can just shift it back we can subtract 14 from all the numbers and we'll get 1 2 3 all the way up to 128 all right so that's the number of numbers so we have the first number that we have the last number we have the number of numbers so now all we need to do is um, figure out the sum actually let me erase that I'm gonna write so the sum is equal to 105 plus 994 um, times 128 the number of numbers all over 2 and if you figure that out let's see you get 1099 that's 105 plus 994 and we can divide 128 by 2 that's 64 so we multiply those two numbers together and we get 70,336 cool huh not too bad it beats uh, adding up all those numbers all those 128 numbers <laughs> so all right I think I have one more example for you Alright, we have another list of numbers. Here we have a list 35, 38, 41, all the way up to 68. And we're asked to find the sum of these numbers. Alright, so let's look at the difference between the numbers. Make sure it's ar arithmetic first. Alright, so here we have, um, we're adding 3. Here we add 3. So, the difference between consecutive numbers is 3 so it's arithmetic so let's um, let's figure this out uh, let's see we need to know the first number the last number which we do know and so we just need the number of numbers and so let's figure that out um, I'm just gonna add 1 to each one because I know I, I have to have a multiple of 3 in here because I'm adding 3 and adding 3 and adding 3 so I want to shift all of these numbers to be multiples of 3. And if I add 1, I'll get 36, I'll get 39, I'll get 42, all the way up to 69. So I've got multiples of 3 now. Now I can just divide by 3. And I'll get 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 23. Right. And now I've got a list of counting numbers. The, the uh, gap between numbers is 1, right? So it's 13, 14, 15. So let's just shift it backwards so that we can uh, get a list starting with 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 23 minus 11, which is 12. So our number of numbers is 12. So the sum of the numbers is 35, the first number, plus 68, the last number, times 12 all over 2. And when we calculate that out, we get um, 103 times 6 which is 618. There you go. So now anytime you have an arithmetic sequence you know how to add a li that list of numbers. So um, go ahead and, and uh, watch the next uh, series of videos on finding the nth term and then you'll be able to do the worksheet that I've put on 
um, the Virtual Math Club website um, to practice uh, these techniques and um, and I'll be posting video solutions as well soon so be looking for that